I'm called Edwin Lubanga Kende Brian. I'm 18 years old from Uganda. I'd been diagnosed with a TB that at the end it caused me tracheal stenosis and uh, I've been managed on nebulization from Uganda after every four hours I have to be nebulized so that the drug hair can be can be dilated, not to be so tight, just to keep the airway open. And uh, this was discovered in March 9, 2021. So I've been in the hospital full time and I traveled to India on December 20, 25th for further treatment. I came with a left lung collapse and really a narrow trachea which needed stenting. As, as I came, they did a, a further checkup again. And what they confirmed from Uganda is still what they confirmed also here, that I needed stenting and the extraction of the left lung collapse, of which was successfully done by Dr. Pravi. Patient Edwin referred to us from Uganda. He has a history of repeated admission due to shortness of breath. He was evaluated initially in his own country, which shows there is a diffuse narrowing of trachea in the uh, region of carina and the complete obliteration of the left main bronchus. When he presented to us, we did a detailed evaluation which shows a diffuse narrowing of the trachea around 3 to 4 cm just above the carina and the pinhole opening of the left main bronchus. On CD reconstruction of a 3D CT, we have seen that the left uh, lung is completely destroyed with the complete obstruction of the left main bronchus and the narrowing of the lower of trachea. So this patient need uh, the left pneumonectomy because of the destroyed lung and the initial diagnosis was tuberculosis also which for which he has received a treatment in his own country. But before Doing a pneumonectomy, we need to secure his airway. So we have planned for a tracheal stenting and dilatation of trachea. And after two weeks of dilatation, we performed a left pneumonectomy. And he did very well after surgery. And on fourth to fifth week of uh, post dilatation and tracheal stenting, we removed the tracheal stent. And patient did well and he was asymptomatic after this procedure and other team for which went, it went successfully. And the stenting, it was also done, it was done by Dr. Shivanjo. This young patient, Edwin, had presented to Artemis Hospital Gurgaon with the complaint of difficulty in breathing and he had noisy breathing. So basically what we refer as strider. He had a problem in his past where his lungs got damaged 
and specifically his left lung was in a very very bad state so the main idea he had come to india was to manage his left lung but when he first saw our colleague dr pravin yadav who is a surgeon at our hospital he felt that more than treating his left lung the first we have to have a look what is the reason for him to have a noisy breathing and the most important part which touched all of us doctors when his when we spoke to his mother his mother had a very clear idea that she would stay in india whether we ask her to stay for 6 days 6 weeks or 6 months but she wants her child to go back in a healthy state so we wanted to offer the best therapy to this kid so what we did we first did a bronchoscopy where we put in a camera through his windpipe to have a look what's going on inside once we had a look we we saw his windpipe had narrowed at a certain point which we call as stenosis that is the reason his air was not flowing properly so what we did we decided that we have to open his windpipe before we can plan anything else discussed with the family went inside we used a special technique called balloonoplasty where we put in a balloon to open this constriction and followed by we put in a stent there lot of people have heard about cardiac stents but not many people know that we also have got airway stents or what we call as tracheal stents we put in a stent there and the idea of having a stent there was that now this whatever we have opened would not fall back the waiting period is around 6 to 8 weeks where the windpipe will take its own shape and then the plan was to remove the stent during this time dr pravin got involved and he handled his left side and his left lung had to be removed which we referred as pneumonectomy so that procedure was also done uneventfully after a period of 6 to 8 weeks he came back to us we did a repeat endoscopy cleared the entire stent and we removed the stent very peacefully the procedure went uneventful and today we have a patient who is absolutely free from this problem called tracheal stenosis he has already undergone a surgery called pneumonectomy he is healthy on one lung without any noisy breathing he is able to engage in his physical activities whatever activity demands for him in his daily life he'll be able to do it so we feel so happy that today we are able to send him back from our country with a very positive vibe that we have treated him holistically not by just focusing on one part of it which went on so successfully and uh, from there the stent had to stay in me for 6 weeks and the days had already elapsed and it has been taken out on friday the stent and today i came for the review and with the check and the phone out that everything is fine I'm now no more. It was really a long journey. It was really a long journey for me and my mom. But finally we have come to the end. I want to really thank the team that worked on me. They really did a great job to give me a second chance in life.